All right, I got a bit of a shadow box drill for you guys here. So I've basically written up five rounds and each in each round, we're gonna focus on something different so that we can rather than just go out and shadow box without adding skills, we're gonna focus on adding important skills in each round. Round one, jab, defense, and counters. So everything we do in this round is gonna be off our imaginary opponent or training partner throwing a jab at us. So I'm gonna imagine that jab's coming, maybe I slip, and then that's the start of my counter. I'll slip, cross, hook, cross, whatever my combo is, it's gonna come off my jab defense. I can slip and counter with punches, boom, and then that starts my return, punches and kicks, whatever you want after that. Round two, cross defense and counters. Same as round one, except this time we're going off the cross. So I'm gonna imagine that cross is coming. I'm gonna slip and counter, and then that's the start of my combo. Maybe I parry and return, that's the start of my combo. So everything comes off a cross defense or counter. So round three, now we're gonna get into some of our game plan, fight IQ kind of stuff. So this is our jab to rear side attack. So everything in round three, we're gonna practice moving around nice and long with that jab and then following up with all of our rear side attack, uh, attacks. So that could be jab cross, jab elbow, jab knee, jab kicks, mix up between leg kicks, body kicks, front kicks, head kicks, jab, followed by any of our rear side attacks. Round four, we're gonna go jab cross and follow up with our lead side attacks. So in this one, we're following, for me, I'm orthodox, so it's gonna be following the jab cross with anything on my left side. Again, it can be elbows, hooks, uppercuts, knees, mix up all those kicks to different levels, play around with kind of setting up your lead side head kick by throwing a couple inside leg kicks and then boom, you come over the top. So that's round four. Last one, round five, we've just got a high volume round. So I like to put this at the end. I kind of imagine um, I've just got to the end of a five round Muay Thai fight. Maybe it's super tight on the scorecard, so I just need to put out as much volume as I can. I like to just keep my defense as tight as possible. Elbows stuck into my ribs, hands nice and high. Practice all those defensive movements and then just unloading with as many punches and kicks as I can fit into this round. So we just want good defense, nice clean technique, but as high volume as possible. Really try and push the pace in this one. So there it is for you. Five rounds, give it a go next time you're shadow boxing. One. Jab, defense, and counters. Round two, cross defense encounters. Round three. Jab to reassign. Round four. Round five, high volume. 